What's up YouTube, this is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys a tweak called iReal SMS. Now this tweak has actually been around for quite some time, but they did just update it today. And before I actually get into exactly what they updated today, I am going to show you what this tweak is about in case you haven't used it or you haven't seen it before. So first and foremost, you can see that it does replace the native text messaging app here. So if we go ahead and open that up, First, you'll see that it gives you pictures of your contacts, which is a really nice feature. And if you tap on the conversation, you'll obviously go straight into the conversation here. You'll also see down here that if you tap this little camera button, you have all these emojis here. There's 20 of them in all, as well as your camera button that you can choose existing or take a photo or video, as well as add the contact if you want to do that. And you have this little star button right here, which you can add templates. And I do have, I think, one template there. There you go. So I can just add that template just like that. So let's go back into the conversations here. And you can see that you have a folders tab right here. So if we tap on that, this section is pretty self-explanatory. You have your inbox, your drafts, your templates, your outbox, and your sent messages here. You can also compose from here. And this is actually where you can make your templates as well. So if I wanted to make a template that said, hello, what's up? I would just hit cancel up here. You can save it as a template or a draft, so we'll save it as a template. And you'll notice that there's my template right there. So let's go ahead and delete that. So now we'll go to the springboard here. And this is part of the update right here. So if I hit the volume up button and I tap the volume notification, you'll see that it gives me an iOS 7 themed quick reply or quick compose, either way. So this is going to look really good with the new iOS 7. So if you tap the more button right here, you can see that you have all your emojis and your camera button. And if you wanted to read the entire conversation that you had with a specific person, then you can just go right there. So if I go ahead and send myself a text message here, we'll go ahead and we'll see exactly what it does. So I got my text message there. You can just tap on the banner and it's going to open up a quick reply. You can either hit open, that's going to open up the actual application, or you can just tap reply. And then you can reply right there, or you can call them just by hitting that call button right there. So we're going to close it right now. And now we're going to jump back into the settings of the app. So first is basic and UI. So here is your quick reply and quick send layout. So this is the new feature that was updated today. You can add the iOS 7 style, which is what I prefer. And if you scroll down here, you have your signature settings if you want to set that up. And you have your smiley emoji setting. So if you type in this little smiley face right here, it turns it into emoji. So, I mean, you can turn those on and off depending on your preferences. And you have keyboard settings right here that you can set up. You also have landscape mode, interface settings, your contact pictures. And I mean, the contact pictures are really nice, especially if you have a lot of pictures assigned to your contacts. It just looks really nice when you go into that conversations tab. Now here is the UI tabber toggle and what that does, it's turned on right now and I didn't show you that before but if we go into our conversations tab and we tap the conversations bar right here, that bar is going to disappear. So if we tap it again, it pops back up. So if you just want a little more real estate then you can just tap that right there. So let's open it back up, go back to the settings here and we'll go back and go into advanced. So here you have some quick reply settings. So you can turn on quick reply, which I definitely recommend if you if you have this application. Quick reply is one of the main features. You have the auto hide after dim, mark always is red, high keyboard, show call button, and status bar icon. If we go into the quick send settings, here's the volume up and touch. So this is the hot key for the quick send. So that's what I was showing you earlier is just to tap the volume button and go right into the quick compose. You can set that up for just the volume up, double home plus menu, or double home. Now if we scroll down a little bit more, you can set this up at the lock screen, start with your favorites, numeric dial pad, the status bar icon, and use for SMS URLs. Now let's jump back into the settings here and start looking at all the other options that we have. You have the lock screen dim time, dim after send or close, and require double tap. So if you wanted to turn on double tap, if we open up the quick compose, just like that, you can't actually close the application. You will have to double tap in order to close it. So if you accidentally close or send stuff all the time, then maybe this is something that you would want to turn on. You also have voice settings to read a new SMS, ask before reading, ask to read again, ask to mark as read, use Bluetooth or Bluetooth only. 
and there's also some sent notifications here as well as a master password now another cool feature about this is you can restore from latest backup and iReal SMS actually creates a backup of your SMS database up to twice a day so that's going to mean that every time you respring or you close out of the iReal SMS app it's going to save that message database and it'll tell you down here when your available backups are so all in all it's definitely a really cool tweak and especially with that new iOS 7 theming going on it's going to look really good once iOS 7 is officially released so let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Alright guys, until next time, this is Cody with iPhoneHacks.com.